Now I've never run five miles with a ruptured eardrum, let alone put in AirPods with a ruptured eardrum. It's kind of like gross. I ruptured my eardrum and I went swimming. Not the smartest thing to do. I wanted to play with my boy. I wanted to have 360 degrees of success. Get it and the body can heal. And I was like, whoops, there are limitations that matter. Do, do, do. The water went in. So I'm going to go for a run. I've been putting in work, going on date night, doing what I need to do anyways. Eating clean, keep the sugar down because sometimes you got to progress through pain. But I'm telling you, not fun to rupture your eardrum and <laughs> don't go in the water if you do it. Don't do it at all costs. Even to play with your son, you'll still have 360 success. Don't do it. Now I'm gonna put in five miles. Let's see how I do when I get back. Okay, baby. See you soon. All right, y'all won't believe the hype, but I did it. I crushed it. I killed it. Five miles. Here we go. We had 935. It's a little slow. It took me 48 minutes, 389 feet, 5.09 miles. Let's go. You know you're on purpose when you inspire, lead, and succeed. Progress through pain. Stay on purpose. Know what your purpose is and do it regardless. Look, there are limitations of matter. I should not have gone in the water with a ruptured eardrum. That makes no sense. But we live and we learn. And uh, let me tell you, your mind is so powerful. So we're getting ready now. We're going to do a little bit of gymnastic work, a little bit of calisthenics, get the body strong when you get the body ready for a big level of service we got a busy day we got somebody flying in from london are you checking out the daily dub let's go you can have 360 degrees of success you just have to work at it sent the wifey to disneyland today because she needed a personal day god bless her bless up and uh, when you walk in the favor and you download you get the information you keep your body clean like a temple you take care of it you get the download and you listen and you act all things are possible so i just want to say thank you god for an amazing life thank you for being here let's go all right so we ruptured that ear drum and we were able to take a shower getting ready for work with a little bit of a thing in here it's all right we do what we got to do moral of the story you can have it all just got to work all right so we are going to get my ear checked out i mean it's actually it's not that bad but uh, we didn't get it checked out see what's going on I'm trying to move mountains here but we're gonna find out what's going on and how bad it is it has been like oozing pus for like a few days um yeah kind of gross but you know hey we're still out here doing what we do let's go get checked out by my boy so uh so i was doing some sparring and i took a right hook and didn't cover burst the eardrum kind of felt that like feeling and then i was like oh, i'm fine no big deal went about uh maybe a day i was like ah, i burst i could feel the air coming sure. out i went my son wanted to go swimming i dove in the pool do, 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 the water and i was like oh okay yeah. so uh, of course got out of the pool dried out the ear uh and now i've been having like this tissue in there and it's it's basically infected. yeah exactly. when was this that you uh, uh less than a week ago try and get yourself the infection yeah <laughs> so basically what happened is that you know obviously these ruptures will heal if they're small enough yes sir but during the time that it's uh you know healing you really yeah must stay out of the water you need to stay out of the water <laughs> and that includes shower by the way oh so okay so i've been doing cotton is that does perfect. that work i usually use cotton with the last thing okay so the good news is you have a very small perforation so that should yes. heal come on bad news is you do have an ear infection yes sir yeah the pain it's like i'll be working all day and i tissue because of the infection right and then all of a sudden it just hits and i'm like i gotta right. stop for a second and right. just breathe and then it goes away so it is bad okay let me try something I want to see how much hearing loss you have, okay, Doc? Got it. Is this louder right, left, or in the middle? Middle. Okay, good. So you don't have much hearing loss. Because if it was bad enough, mm -hmm. that ear would be louder. Because you develop what's called a conductive hearing loss. Right. right. So, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Don't blow your nose too hard. Okay. If you can avoid air flight travel in the next three, four, okay, you're flying. <laughs> Where are you going? So I've got a flight to Kentucky to visit my daughter in college. When? Tomorrow night, red eye. Tomorrow well, night's good. Because it probably won't be healing. As it starts to heal, that eardrum will be very delicate. Mm. So that won't happen right away. That'll probably be another week or so. Really? Yeah, so it's, it's still infected. The infection has to go away. So it takes about a week, week or so for the infection to get under control. So I'm okay with that, actually. Because if you're going to fly, I might as well fly tomorrow. <laughs> so no. And then come back on Sunday. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Right. So I'm going to give you two things. Eardrops and oral antibiotics just to cover the bases. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. I didn't do anything. Just right. yeah. some drugs. <laughs> Looked at your ear and smacked you in the head with a you know, yeah. fork and uh, give you some drugs. All right. So the good news is I'm going to survive. I'm going to make it. I'm going to survive. Many days. Let's go. But I gotta get the tissue back in my ear because it's draining. The thing is this, look, important lesson. Number one, Dr. Namazi is pretty cool. If you're gonna go to a medical doctor, you gotta go to somebody who's intelligent, caring, compassionate, he's a good guy, great dude. Number two, took a quick look, said, hey, look, it is infected, you need meds. So only what we really need is to start with one, go to two, because I'm all for meds at the right time. And number three, just because you got a messed up ear, a messed up hand, or something going on with your spine, 
don't stop doing what you do. Stay moving, stay in the fight. But you know, you gotta put a tissue in your ear, or wrap your wrist or your hand up, do it. And uh, other than that, let's roll. We got something else to go through. So we're at a house called a private residence in Beverly Hills, about to take the elevator up. Let me tell you, people need care. My man's at home with my lady, that's 360 degrees of success. She's taking care of the kids, they're having a little pool party. I gotta run out and take care of my peeps. You gotta just do it sometimes. It's a blessing to serve. People need care, and it really is just a beautiful thing to care of the house, empty the dishes, did all the stuff I never do during the week. I mean, I do a little bit, but I'm always out there doing my thing outside of the house. So you gotta do what you can. You gotta just do it, move, move through the day, and just stay blessed, man. Just stay blessed, keep your mindset right. All right, so it's Sunday, which means it's family day, and we're super excited, huh, babe? Yeah, yep. so we're going, actually, where, where are going we going? Going to Home Depot. Going, going to Home to the Depot? Beach. I thought we were going to the beach. We are, in a little while, but first we go to Home, home Depot. Depot. There's a lot of light bulbs, light bulbs. you need to change in the house. Uh, yep. I know you're trying to I get I had away. that on my trusty list, of but course, I want to change all the light bulbs. Just because I'm 6'4", hey, change the light bulbs. I, it's a blessing. It's for you than for me. It's true, it's true. The thing is, I did a lot of that growing up, so Dad, if you're watching this, it's your damn fault. Okay, I did all that stuff growing up and now. So now you're a pro. You've nah. a lot of <laughs> I don't really like to do it is the truth. So look, we're gonna change some light bulbs. We're gonna make baby happy. We don't do we're gonna, what we like to We're do. gonna, we gotta have like, see, I'm gonna pay for the flowers. I actually do like gardening a little bit. I do, it's very enjoyable. I just don't make a lot of time for it. But that's why I have this amazing woman right there. My queen and my dude back there. Come on, bro. So look, we're gonna go. Why are we at the mall? I thought you said we're going to Home Depot. I need to get a dress for Mr. Perfect date night. Yeah, ah, right buddy? No, yeah, he's not having it. Okay, so me and my dude are gonna find something to do at the mall. I've been waiting for it to go on sale for like a month. See, you, that's a good it's wife right there. Today, that's a good wife. That's off. a good I'm wife. Let's go it. to the mall. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go get that dress right now, 50% off. Then Home Depot, so I can change some light bulbs, and then hopefully the beach. Let's go. All right, so we're still here in the store, and we're looking around for chairs, and, and there are none them. because Babe likes to shop. There she is. Busted. There she is. What are we gonna do, man? Oh, what are we gonna know. do? I mean, if you want to shop, you can go to shopdrjason.com to go get the help as well. Guys, out chairs, bro. Chairs, chairs, chairs. chairs. Come on. Okay, dude, let's get some guy time, bro. All right, let's kick our feet up. You ready to relax, bro? Give me five. Yeah. All right, you want to watch something? All right, let's put on a movie. How are you? What? Shoes, bro. You want to watch shoes? You sure? I mean, okay. At least we got our phones, right? All right, so here's what we've resorted to. No. I'm now squatting, lifting weights inside. Two, three, this dude is not light. Let's go, four, you see what happens? We're supposed to move and work out. There she is shopping. All right, so we're finally leaving the store. So happy. Finally, right after oh. a half hour show. It was like 10 hours, buddy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was not a half hour. 10 hours, four hours technically. <laughs> yeah. Where? Jack, come over here, Jack. Stop. Come here, Jack. Bah! <laughs> bro, what happened? <laughs> My, did you get scared, bro? It's just a doll, bro. It's a plastic doll. Don't hurt your daddy. Don't beat up daddy. It's just a doll. Everything's okay. I thought you wanted to look at Halloween decorations. I do, but like, not don't scare me. You don't want to look at them up close and personal? No. But Bro, did they make a noise? I don't know. I think you made the noise. Try me. Ooh. That's what makes you walk. Come over here, bro. Check this one out. Which one? This one right here. This old guy. Come on, man. All right, bro. We got the flowers. We're hanging out with mom. Watch out, behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Broski, there's nothing to be afraid of except the flowers. They're flowers, they're flowers. Let's mess with my little man here. All right, it's a beautiful. 
beautiful day in LA. We just finished up work. I got ahead to my son's basketball practice and the stress level has been high. So picked up a turmeric brew, orange carrot turmeric. Gonna head to my son's basketball practice. Plans change for the whole weekend. I'm gonna be with my little homie this weekend at his tournaments. I'm stoked. Was gonna be traveling out of town on business, but one of the most beautiful things about life is you gotta be flexible in your approach. So we're gonna have this. We're gonna roll to see my man and uh, it's gonna be a weekend jam packed full of fun. So you can have success. Like you can do it all, you can do it all, but it takes work. Let's go. All right, it's morning time at the Mamba, man. I got a quick set in on the rings while my little man is warming up over here. It's a Sunday, so we're doing what we usually do, which is basketball tournaments. And um, I love this little workout area here. Check that out. I'd like to get that in my house right there. Gotta let the kids shine in whatever it is they wanna do. Important lesson for the family for 360 degrees of success is learning to love each person the way they need to be loved, whether that be your wife, your husband, your partner, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, whoever it is, your parents, love them the way they need to be loved and then let them shine and go. And we're back with another gorgeous day in LA. The horns are honking, people are out and about, and I took the day off because I wanted to chill. I needed some time to take care of the fam bam, let my body rest a little bit, because healing means self-care, and sometimes you just gotta slow down a little bit. So, been working through this ear infection, working out, put in five miles today, had fun all weekend, uh, going to my son's ball games, etc. Now we're running to a house call in Beverly Hills. We might head back to another one in Encino, and uh, gotta go. All right, so we're back and we're cruising through Beverly Hills and it's just an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, sunny day in LA. And so, look, sometimes, like I was saying, you gotta slow down, you gotta take a little time for yourself. And that's exactly what I did. I felt my body pushing hard, dealing with this ear infection, just rolling every day, still getting in my workout, still doing everything I normally do. Just said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna take a day today. Handled some business, handled some family, taking care of some of my peeps with some of those house calls. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get back to it and, uh, and then play with my boy later. Maybe get in a game of Monopoly with the fam bam. In the meantime, remember that uh, you gotta work. There's no easy ticket. I don't want an easy ticket. I hope you don't want one either. And uh, it takes work. So uh, once you know that, you just put it in. That's what it is.